Hypnosis is a naturally occurring brainwave energy shift that the average human being goes into seven times a day. The more intelligent, stressed out, or creative, the more hypnotizable an individual is. It's the way your brain is functioned in such a way to take the stress levels down. If awake is over here and asleep is over there, hypnotism's in the middle. You pass through it to fall asleep, you pass through it to wake up. If you get up for any reason in the middle of the night, you're passing through it again. Various examples of being hypnotized naturally include times when you sat in school. You ever recall sitting there and the teacher asked you a question and you had no idea what the teacher was saying? And then maybe your stupid friend gave you the wrong answer and you repeated it? You were hypnotized, you were suggested to, and you responded. That's how hypnosis works. Or for example, driving a car. You can't tell me every turn you make, every pothole you miss, but there you are anyway, nice and safe. Um, if you're ever in work, I'm sure not your job or anybody else watching this, but if you days out and don't pay attention to the boss, the point is you've been hypnotized. We're more hypnotized than we think we are. Even watching this show, you can be hypnotized or suggested to. Laughing or crying at a movie, a soft drink ad, all of that is suggested. Some people remember a lot of it, but they're a very small group. Most people remember bits and pieces. Some people remember nothing at all. It varies by individual to individual and what the results are gonna be. On a count of three, on a count of three only. You guys, it turns out one more out of the two tests you took, you guys are guitar heroes. On a count of three, wail and show Eddie Van Halen, he's a punk, you rock better than he ever thought of. On a count of three, show him how you rock the house. The crazier the better, maintain safety. One, getting ready to music. Two, getting ready to sit up ready to talk. Three, well baby, well, well, well. I train hypnotists. I have four teaching certifications, actually five, if you count the one for advanced pain management. So actually I train people to be hypnotists and I've invented high-speed hypnotic techniques known all over the world as speed trance. I love being in front of an audience, I love teaching this stuff, and I enjoy the private session work. I help people quit smoking, lose weight, reduce stress, sleep better, overcome a fear, do better in school, get along better in their marriage. Somebody comes in, they've done, I'm normally their last line of defense, they've tried everything else. I've tried, they've tried patches and pills and needles to quit smoking, and I get them off the cigarettes, so it provides a lot of real beneficial results to an individual's life. It's also good in trauma cases or in difficult cases or if a person is starting to have some kind of an emotional trauma or emergencies. I've used it when people have been hit by a car before the ambulance came to keep them out of shock. And I wrote a book which is now all over the world which has over 150 sessions that I've written for various things. So it's good for a wide variety of different things or just a lot of fun because we do demonstrations which we probably will be doing later in this show. We also use it for comedy entertainment, for fundraising events, colleges, high schools. I've worked in 19 US states doing entertainment hypnosis as well as the UK. I've also taught all over the country various techniques. I've invented, I've been clocked in terms of speed technique at 0.4 seconds and 0.6 seconds ice cold, shoulders to knees, on a total stranger just walking up to them. So I've invented some of the fastest ways known to humanity in general to put people out. It blows minds in an audience if I start to do a show that somebody is fully functioning awake and I drop somebody. When I've done school shows all over the country, in high schools, junior high schools, colleges, corporations, um, normally it's called pyramiding. You start off small and you work your way up. So first they'll be laughing, then it'll be too hot and then too cold, in that order. I did that once at a county fair and I made them too hot and it was too hot on the stage and they got very sweaty, which wasn't good. Then I'll have them milking cows and then I'll have them playing guitar and then I'll have them jumping around as if they're a rock star uh, or a beauty queen. First a woman, then a man normally. So it's a lot of fun, and what's different about that than, say, regular comedy that you may see in a comedy club somewhere is that your friends who are sitting right next to you 
become the star of my show. It's about what they're able to do with their own creative imagination to get out there and have fun and have a good time. And it's something truly unforgettable because if you go to see a comedy show, you'll laugh at the jokes and you may remember the jokes and you may repeat the jokes very poorly to your friends on the way home in the car or people you call up. When it's a comedy show that I'm doing, your friend has been a beauty queen. Your friend has been jumping around like a famous rock star and you're never gonna let her forget that as long as she's alive. And if there's video involved, you have a record of her being this famous person. So whatever that's gonna be, maybe they're catching a fish off the coast of Florida and rowing their boat home with their fish. Maybe they're stamping out ants and swatting flies away from their head at the same time. Whatever that is, it's an unforgettable experience and it's done in good taste. You ready to get hypnotized? Yeah. All right, here's what I want you to do. Take this elbow, put it down here, out of the way. This arm, if I was the governor of California, you're doing great. Loosey goosey, the arm, like the with the regular arm, there's the arm, the arm there. Remain free in your mind and keep an active imagination. And here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna follow my fingertips with your eyes and with your head. Your head's gonna get heavy. You will hear what I'm saying. You're not deaf. You're, you're almost hypnotized anyway. You're just hypnotized. Simply follow my fingertips and your head will get heavy and I'll rock your body back and forth. Follow my fingers. Sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. Drifting, floating, dreaming. Spine is melting, dropping down. Deeper, further, further, deeper, deeper, and deeper, and deeper. All the way down. Drifting, floating, dreaming. All the way down. Drifting, floating, dreaming. Every tap of the back of your neck, every rock of your body, imaginary safety belt is on. You're feeling 10,000 times more relaxed. With every rock, every tap, you're feeling wonderful, happy, calm, and free, thriving, succeeding, and breaking through. Whenever I say cable, you can't remember where you work. Whenever I say TV, you remember where you work. Nodding your head yes for 45 million bucks, possibly. Whenever I tap your shoulder, your butt has gotten 10 times bigger. You don't know why, and you'll give me a strange reason why that is. And you're not gonna be happy about it, but you'll give me a, the weirder the reason, within reason, keeping it clean and family oriented, the better it's gonna be. Nodding your head yes, you can do that. Staying hypnotized with me, one, two, three, right away. Fix your hair, please. Cable, what do you work? Cable, what do you work? TV. I work for Time Warner. Cable, what do you work? Cable, what do you work? I work at the... TV. What do you work? I work for Time Warner. Now, what's going on? What's going on? You got, you got a funny look. Is something, is something happening? What's going on? Has something gotten out of proportion or anything or no? What happened? What happened? I don't know. What happened? Well, what's going on? You're looking funny. What happened? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I just feel weird. What, has something gotten bigger? Your butt got bigger? Your what? Oh, you don't want people to know your butt got? Okay. What happened to it though? You can just tell me it's just us. Did you sit on something? Did a bug bite you? You got stung? Chocolate? What was it? I, I eat a lot of cakes. Oh, okay. Okay, so. But it's, but it's okay. If my palm goes like flat, I it's gonna be like 10 times bigger. You, now look at it. What happened? What happened? The what? It's my jeans. Oh, it's the jeans, I see. It's the jeans, I see. If I touch you on top of the head, it's gonna go right back to normal. I touch your shoulder, it's gonna be 10 times bigger. You ready for that? Now, now, it looks, it looks fine now, right? I'm fine. Okay, what about this? It's, it's okay now, right? Move the arm out of the way so you don't get hurt. 